Hello again, friends. We continue the project from where we left off. In this episode, we're going to make things a little more difficult. We're going to add an enemy to our game. But first things first. First, we open Blender 3D, a free 3D modeling and animation application. We need a cabin. We will model our cabin in the simplest way and add it to our game. As usual, delete the default cube and create a plane. Set sizes to three meters all sides. Create a cube and size it like a simple plank. Apply Array Modifier. From Y axis, set count to 14. At edit mode, make them longer. Add more edges with Control R. And give some detail by vertices. Add another plank like the first one. Place it to other planks. Now, shading time. First, apply UV map to meshes. I downloaded free textures from internet. Create a material and apply to our mesh. Join them and duplicate. Open a door in one side. And make a roof. Our cabin is ready. Now export to FBX file. Create new folder in content directory and import FBX file into it. Now we have to set the material to our model. There is a problem about the normal map. It's XR format. Let's convert it to a TIFF file format in Photoshop. That's it, our cabin is ready now. But we cannot enter inside. There is a collision problem. Let's fix this. Open mesh and do this settings. Now let's make the murder weapon. This will be an ax. Let's incorporate an axe into our project via Quixel Bridge. You can place it on the stage as you like. I'll put it on the note paper. Now, we need a scene here. When we read the note, there must be movement. We will handle this with Horror Event. It's a very easy system. When we read the note, we hear a shout and our character speaks. I downloaded these sounds from freesound.org. The sounds must be in WAV format. Now let's prepare the setup. When paper object selected, create a horror event. You can make the settings in this way. You can also try different possibilities yourself. When we read the note, scream sound will be play, and after four seconds, our character will speak.
now we need a killer. We'll download our character from Mixamo.com. First download the character, and then the animations. Now let's include it in our project. Normally we need to create an animation blueprint, but we will not do that in this project. We will make the enemy's movements within a certain scenario with the help of triggers. The aim is to finalize this project without getting too confused. Videos related to the subject will come later. I will use the overlap trigger from Horror Engine's usual assets for the event. Event be like this. After we read the note, we hit the another trigger we place to scene, and the creature will run to the cabin with sound effects, and our character will speak again. Let's do this. Place the creature to the scene, but we use the crawl animation for this event. Drag the overlap trigger to scene, make it wide, character must hit that trigger. It overlap triggers horror event settings. First create a horror event. Select overlap with trigger for interaction. Under horror event section, click environment and actor transforms. Click plus icon. Select the creature for actor to transform. Then for transform sequence, copy the cabin's location data Then click sound section and play 2D sounds. Add the creature's step sounds, then our character's speaking sound. And in player section elect, look at actors. Select the creator for actor. Make settings, let's try. Oh no, creature's too small, we can't see it. Make it bigger and try again. What was that? Okay, let's add the subtitle. But we have to destroy the creature before we reach the cabin. Yes! After being scared, our character will go to the cabin. There is nowhere else to go. After seeing the corpse in the cabin, I want one more event to happen. For this, we will use Look at Trigger from Horror Engine Assets. We will turn around three seconds after we see the corpse and the creature will attack us. The game will end here. So the story ends badly. Let's do it. Place the look at trigger inside the cabin. Place the creature's attack animation in front of the cabin and disable collision. Make the trigger settings like this.
Okay, let's play the game. We made a very simple horror game demo with no budget. I leave a link to the description for all assets. Don't forget, anyone can make a game. If you're finding value in these videos, hit that subscribe button and drop a like if you love the content and ring the bell to stay updated. See you in the restaurant at the end of the universe. <laughs>